The American economy is recovering, but not everyone has felt it equally. The wealth gap between black and white households has grown dramatically. It's now the greatest it's been in 27 years. Mississippi has the highest proportion of black residents. It is also the poorest state. This soul food restaurant is in Cleveland, Mississippi. Jimmy Williams is the owner. Well, this place is a historical site. During the civil rights movement, you know, all the people that were coming to Cleveland would meet here. It, it was Lily's Cafe back then. In 1967, Robert Kennedy visited the Cleveland area. He was appalled at the poverty he saw. But it exists, and, and it seems to me uh, that we should do something about it. And we might say that we are doing what we should. But the fact is that we're not doing what we should be doing in this country. In those days, Cleveland was literally divided along racial lines by a set of railroad tracks that ran through the city. This is the track right here where it's divided oh, yeah. the east from the west. The tracks are gone now, but the economic divide remains. The median income for black families in Cleveland, Mississippi is $13,000 a year. For white families, it's $32,000. The unemployment rate for black families is 22%. For white families, it's 6%. And the rate of poverty for black families is 37%. For white families, it's 12%. So we are still divided to a certain extent. Do you feel it? You feel it every day? Oh, yeah. These disparities can be seen around the country. Unemployment is twice as high for black Americans as it is for whites. 10% of white Americans live below the poverty line, while 26% of blacks do. And seven out of 10 black kids actually wind up worse off than their parents. I'm Kai Rizdal, and this is How the Deck is Stacked.